Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks. And today I'm going to show you how to disable the forced encryption on a Nexus 6. Now this is actually one of the more talked about features of the phone since Google decided to encrypt every bit of data on the device by default. And that may sound like a great feature to some people, especially in this day and age with the NSA and government surveillance and whatnot. But encryption, at least on the Nexus 6, is not without its faults. For one, you can't disable encryption in the phone's regular settings menu. It's actually forced on you whether you want it or not. The main downside, though, is that performance on the Nexus 6 really suffers because of the encryption. Every time the phone goes to write a new file, it has to encrypt it on the fly. And every time it needs to access that file, it has to be decrypted. And since the Nexus 6 has no dedicated hardware for this process, that means the main processor has to deal with a lot of extra strain as it's doing even the most mundane tasks. As a result, read and write times, which are a central part of your device's performance, end up being about three times slower than they would be without encryption. Then when you factor in the issues it creates with custom recovery mods, and the fact that its main use case is really not that practical to begin with, encryption starts to become more of a detraction rather than a feature. So let's say you considered all that, and you decided that you wanted to disable the encryption after all. This is really something you should do before you get your device all perfectly set up, because in the end, decrypting the phone means all the data it has accumulated so far becomes essentially useless so you have to perform a factory reset. If you're okay with that, or if you have everything backed up anyway, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do here is put your phone into bootloader mode. To do that, start by powering the phone completely off. When the screen goes black, press and hold the volume down and power buttons simultaneously. This screen right here is the bootloader menu, so you're all set up there. But get familiar with this screen because we'll be using it a few more times in this same video. The next thing to do is to connect your phone to your PC using a good quality USB cable. Just make sure it's not some beat up ratty old thing that you've had for years is basically what I'm saying. Then for the most part, the rest of the work will be done on a Windows PC. So let's head over there. Now there are ways you can do this with a Mac or a Linux machine, but those involve the Android SDK and fastboot command prompt lines, so I opted not to cover that process in order to simplify things for the majority of folks out there. So if you're still with me at this point, the next thing to do is download a few files. First up is a modified boot.img file that actually disables the forced encryption for you. It was created by developer Bedward, and I have a direct link to his mod over at the full tutorial. As a matter of fact, all the relevant downloads can be found over there, so head to the link in the description below this video to grab everything you'll need. And while that's downloading, the second file you'll need is the stock user data image. We'll essentially be flashing this one to make the factory reset portion of this process a little easier. Third, and this is why you need a Windows PC to use this method, is the Nexus Root Toolkit by Wugfresh. It's an awesome tool that essentially automates the whole Android SDK and ADB slash fastboot commands into a nice graphical user interface. So once all three of your downloads are finished, the next step is to launch the Nexus Root Toolkit installer file. From here, just follow the prompts for installation. Then when you get to this screen, select your device and Android version. For device, it's obviously Nexus 6 here. Then for Android version, go with 5.0 LRX210. After you hit apply here, the toolkit will ask to download some additional files. Go ahead and let it download everything it needs. Now when you make it into the actual toolkit for the first time here, make sure to hit up this option right up top, full driver installation guide. From here, skip ahead to step three, then take note of the recommended driver solution. Mine says number one, so I'll click the corresponding button down here. After that, just follow the prompts to get all of your ADB and fastboot drivers installed. Now before we can flash the modified boot.img file, we'll need to unlock the device's bootloader. So click the unlock button in the middle here, then hit OK on the first pop-up. On the second pop-up, it's asking if your device is currently booted into Android, but we're in bootloader mode, not Android, so be sure to click No on this menu. Now my bootloader is already unlocked so it's not going to pause and give me instructions here. But if you haven't already unlocked your bootloader, a message will pop up on your phone at this point. Just use the power button on your phone to select the Yes option, and your bootloader will be unlocked. After a few minutes, your phone should boot back into Android automatically. But don't bother running through the initial setup again. Just go ahead and power the phone off, then use the volume down and power buttons to put it back into bootloader mode. With the phone still connected to the PC, it's time to flash the modified boot.img file that disables the forced encryption. 
So head to the Advanced Utilities menu in the Nexus Root Toolkit to begin. At the top of the middle column here, make sure to select Flash Permanent rather than Boot Temporary. From here, click the Boot button since we're flashing the boot image. Go ahead and press OK, then use this next screen to navigate to your download folder. You should find the modified boot.img file here going by the name of Boot No Enforce Encrypt. So select it and click Open. NRT should automatically flash the modified boot.img file at this point, and after a few minutes, your phone will boot back up again. You'll probably see a message asking you to enter your password, but disregard that. Instead, simply power your phone back off and put it into bootloader mode again with the volume down and power buttons. Finally, we'll flash the user data image to factory reset the phone and clear away the encrypted data. So with your phone still connected to your PC and in bootloader mode, Go ahead and click the User Data button in the middle column of the Nexus Root Toolkit's Advanced Utility menu. Again, press OK, but this time select the UserData.img file. When NRT finishes flashing that, your old encrypted data will be cleared away, and you'll be free to set up your phone with the encryption disabled altogether. So you'll have to go through initial setup again and put in your Google account info and all of that, but your read and write speeds will now be about three times faster, and you'll likely see improved battery life as well. And if you plan on installing a custom recovery or routing, you can do all of that without any of the issues that forced encryption would have caused. If you'd just like to verify that your phone is no longer encrypted, go to Settings, then Security, and the entry that used to say Encryption is Enabled will now say Encrypt Device instead. And I know this was a lot to absorb from one video, so if you want to follow along at your own pace, be sure to check out my full tutorial at the link in the description below. As always, though, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.